Good day. Thank you for coming to watch my presentation. My name is Menelis Falai. I'm a PhD candidate at Rhodes University in South Africa. My presentation is entitled Unpacking Changing Multi-Actor and Multi-Level Actor Ties and Transformative Spaces Insights from a Degraded Landscape. This is a brief overview of my presentation. I will look at uh, system interaction within transformative spaces. This will help us to identify network interaction and also the drivers and enablers behind the outcomes. Contemporary research shows that humanity is facing daunting environmental challenges that are increasingly dynamic and complex. The past century has seen drastic changes in social structures, institutions, relations, and customs. In particular, these changes have defined how societies interact with each other and with their ecosystems. Given the importance of the Earth's ecosystem to human well-being, unsustainable resource consumption and waste have forced us into a new planetary era known as the Anthropocene. Despite accelerated biodiversity loss at both local and regional scales, environmental governance continues to be a major challenge. Schoons et al. argues that in order to achieve the SDGs, deliberate normative steering of transformation is necessary at both multi-hectare and multi-level scales. This takes us to what are transformative spaces? Transformative spaces are defined by Pereira as collaborative environments where actors invested in transformations can experiment with new mental models, ideas, practices that can help shift social ecological systems onto alternative paths. It is essential to note that transformative spaces are not transformation but rather a form of readiness for a system to transform. Our study seeks to fill the gap in knowledge on how changing ties influence the flow of information sharing, inter-organizational trust and views of shared goals within transformative spaces. We measured three organizational ties using the social capital theory. Our study site is in the Eastern Cape, South Africa. It is regarded as one of the most degraded landscapes in the country. Furthermore, Makubeni is uh, coupled with uh, disputes over land management, fragmented governance structures, and a lack of uh, collaboration and coordination between actors across scale. To enhance social capital, the roads University J5 project team initially developed a transformative space in 2018. The transformative space serves as a platform where actors engage in dialogue, learning, and collaboration. These are the actors which are involved in the Makubeni transformative space. As we can see, there's Rhodes University, the Makubeni community hubs, the local municipality, the district municipality, and the Eastern Cape, gov uh, Eastern Cape uh, government departments. The specific objectives include to identify what kind of social relational connections dominated the transformative space between 2018 and 2020. By introducing the temporal aspects of change, we seek to understand the changing dynamics and system perceptions of how actors make decisions within transformative spaces over time. We used a social network analysis to identify what kind of connections dominated the transformative space. And here are some of our results. Under the Common Goals Network, we can see that uh, the network, the governance network, is largely dominated by strong ties. However, the Emalatheni local municipality has weak ties, has weak connection with the rest of the network. 
Further probing revealed that the municipality officials were hesitant in aligning their goals with the rest of the network because of limited resources for service delivery and the lack of a clearly outlined rules of engagement between local municipalities and civil society, therefore affecting the common goals network. Under the information sharing network, we also see that under phase two and also phase one, the local municipality uh, had weak ties with the rest of the network. Uh, document analysis of grey literature from Emma Tlene revealed that the local municipality did not have adequate scientific information to share with the local communities concerning land degradation and rangeland management. Further probing revealed that lack of resource planners at the local municipality level, such as soil scientists, created communication barriers. Under the Interorganizational Trust Network, we can see that the local hubs were closely connected together, sharing strong ties. There's a saying that say, our beds of the same feathers flock together. This saying might apply under phase one. As we go to phase two, we see that the Emalatlani municipality and the traditional leaders council were at the periphery. I'll focus on the traditional leaders uh, location. Although there was an increase in strong ties between the local to local hubs, mistrust between the traditional leaders council and the executive of the forum were becoming apparent. The MMF was accused of capturing the project. However, further probing revealed that some of the tensions emanated from unclear communication channels at the local level. Other network members highlighted that the diminishing legitimacy of traditional leaders due to multiple independent institutions created tensions within the transformative space. One major, we, we have got two major findings. In South Africa, the local municipality is identified as a critical administrative level to effect transformation, considering that it is the first point of contact between local municipalities and government. Given the low capacity is highlighted in the three governance networks, the local municipality might not be able to effect transformation in knowledge sharing because of um, the barriers they have. Failure to effect a transformation might exacerbate the, the rate of land degradation, thereby eroding people's livelihoods and further pushing them into poverty. These are some of the barriers that we identified. We identified time constraints, weak communication channels, functional incompatibility, and leakages of human uh, capital, especially from the local municipality. It affected uh, the smooth running of the transformative space. Uh, despite the importance of traditional leaders in the transformative space, we identified three institutional gaps that may hinder transformation in South Africa. Traditional leaders have inadequate skills and knowledge to pursue their mandate. Thirdly, women were not represented in traditional structures in Makuweni, which is far below the 33.3 national policy requirement. Therefore, it is necessary to strengthen the capacity of traditional leaders as a way of enhancing transformative governance to promote sustainability in South Africa. Lack of female representation might lead to the exclusion of women from participating in transformative spaces, making it an all-men affair. For transformations to okay, we propose that transformative spaces need to be inclusive of all actors, including women and the youth. In conclusion, while the transformative space in Makoveni has succeeded in enhancing collaboration and knowledge sharing, 
between groups that did not previously dialogue. There is need for long-term engagement with government agencies, especially the local municipality. This might be necessary for promoting institutional transformation, policy outcome, and building network resilience in complex polycentric governance systems in South Africa. I thank you so much. And these are my references. I look forward to receiving your questions. Thank you. Bye.